One of those music festival attendees who survived was Nahare Levy. He joins us now live from Israel. Uh, thank you for being with us. I understand uh, you were among those now sheltering because of the threat of incoming missiles. Uh, we gave you the opportunity to, to shelter and not join us, but you chose to talk to us instead because you feel it is so important um, that people see what you are experiencing. Uh, are you safe? And tell me what you're hearing. Um, first of all, thank you for having me. Um, yes, I'm at home right now next to the shelter. Uh, I chose to do it with all the difficulty because I think that, that we had enough. That's that's the time that the world need to know what we're going through for years. How do you get the alerts uh, when there is a threat from above incoming now from the north, from Lebanon? Um, as the reporters said before, we're just getting a lot of alarms during the phones. Uh, sometimes the alarm doesn't work because there's heavy missile attacks. So we're just starting to to hear all the, the missiles flying above our heads. And that's how you, you know to go to the shelter uh, because there, there's like hundreds of them, hundreds. And you're used to this. I've spoken to so many people who are used to the threat and the Iron Dome reacting, but this this is different. Can you explain your emotions in this time, having been what you have survived? Yes, um, we've been at the rave. Uh, a lot of our friends at 6.30 a.m. They started a missile attack. Um, I'm living in Ashkelon. It's some, some, somewhere that got used to all the missile attacks. So. I try to calm everybody and help with the direction to the security guys and everything. Um, and then they showed up from nowhere, dozens of terrorists just starting to slaughter and everyone kidnapping people, raping hard girls. I, I lost so many friends and so many people that I know. Um, we just try to, to run for our lives and while you're running, you, you're hearing all the people screaming, begging for their lives, all their last words, um, those that kind of things that you, you can delete from your mind. Me and my friends, we're all going through a, a psychological treatment right now. That, that's not something that you can look and think it's a human. Just imagine how helpless you are. My friends who live there just got messages from their families. There is terrorists in their home. They begging for ours to help them, but you can do nothing. Just, just you just hearing your your family getting slaughtered and dying while you're speaking with them and perform, and you know you help as you can do nothing. <laughs> the, the house they can couldn't break into. They just burn people alive. They kidnap children, old people, everything that they could. In a brutal way, they, there was one lady, she was pregnant. They just cut her belly and take off, take out the baby and kill him. That's that's not something that human can do. That, that's not something that's unmanageable. That's not something you can understand. Wow. Now, Hare, how did you survive? Um. After a couple of minutes, I uh, started to run so fast um, as they shoot in and thrown grenades on us, RPGs. I just laid on the ground behind bushes, trees, underneath trucks, everything that we could cover ourselves with bloods of other bodies, just pretend to be dead. So, so they think you're dead maybe, but it didn't help because even if they saw bodies, dead bodies, they shoot them again just to make sure everyone is dead. So I started to run again. And then uh, I can't forget the moment I just opened the camera and, and say goodbye to my family. I, I really thought I'm going to be dead in a few seconds. And then uh, one of my friends just grabbed me and told me, that, let's just keep running. And we ran for miles and miles and miles as we were getting shots and grenades thrown on us. And we see so many of our friends laying on the ground, dead bodies. Some of them were kidnapped in front of our eyes. Some of them just got raped and then brutally murdered in front of our eyes. That's not something you can go through. And, and 
and get back to yourself. That's that's not something normal. The world needs to know they're so evil. That's pure evil. They just slaughtered everyone. They just brutally murdered everyone. They raped everyone, burned people alive. We managed to go to go out from there by miracle. I have no idea how to call it. Just just it was just a miracle. Cause I lost so many friends. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.